I got so super excited that this relatively cheap parts store, Bar Power Torque Wrench, made short work of my uh, bolts on this little uh, 14 millimeter bolts. But I had to take a wrecking bar and a hammer. That thing was corroded on there, it was like welded on there. I had to work on it a good probably five minutes solid hammering hard. Um, then just going around with it on the outside. I'll try to catch it on the other rotor. Um, and then just going all the way around. And it was just corroded on there so hard, it just was froze. So even with the bolts off, the bolts were optional. Oh great, now I got dirt in the grease. Let's clean that out. So. Brake cleaner, and I'll be doing a uh, bearing job. So anyway, that one's out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and mount it on the new one before we go any further. Just gonna leave that guy in the plastic. Hand screw these guys with some anti C's. I'm just gonna move that out. Keep the plastic on it to keep some of the grease off. But there you have it. That was not easy in the least. But yeah, this is the old rotor. Could be factory original for all I know. And uh, yeah, right there. <laughs> this thing should have been replaced a long time ago. Looks like something off of an old farm tractor that's been sitting. <laughs> not my daily commuter for the last ooh, 20 years almost. 97, I got it in 2001, it's not quite 20 years, but yeah, that's going to be an anchor.